triggering beforehand, but then went along with it afterwards. Well, during Tuesday's confirmation hearing for the FBI nominee, uh, director nominee, James Comey, he was asked about his approval in 2004 of a legal memo that authorized torture techniques designed to inflict pain or terror during the interrogation of detainees. Comey was deputy attorney general at the time. The memo was known as the Bradbury Memo. You, you talked about how sleep prep, uh, deprivation can be uh, torture, I th and I think you said in combination with other methods. Um, this is what the Bradbury memo says about sleep deprivation. In this method, the detainee is standing in his handcuffs, and the handcuffs are attached by a length of chain to the ceiling. The detainee's hands are shackled in front of his body so that the detainee has approximately a two to three foot diameter of movement. The detainee's feet are shackled to a bolt in the floor, end quote. The memo also says that the detainee wears diapers and that sleep deprivation can cause swelling in the lower extremities. The memo goes on to say that none of this amounts to torture and authorized sleep deprivation for up to 180 hours. That's seven and a half days. That is torture, isn't it? Uh, that was my reaction, and, and I remember that description vividly. Senator, it's one of the things that led me to ask, who are we as Americans? And we have to have that conversation about even if someone says it's effective, someone says it doesn't violate this vague statute, there's this third question that that description cries out for us to answer. Okay. Uh, I'm out of time, but I would say that was a memo that you, that you approved. Now, that was one of separate... Um, uh, separate methods that was talked about in that one. That was the first Bradbury.